Chickens do not have teeth, so food is swallowed whole and passed into the crop. Here, the food is softened, then small muscular contractions move the food along to the chicken's stomach for digestion. In most healthy hens, the crop is empty in the morning, and as the bird eats during the day, the crop fills to the size of about a small tangerine. The crop should contain food when the bird goes to bed, which is digested overnight. The crop is easy to locate. It's at the front and the bottom of the neck and slightly to the right. You can see that this hen has a normal crop and it's located here. A healthy balanced diet is key to good crop health and feed must be stored in a cool, dry place and regularly replaced to preserve the vitamins and ensure the birds are given healthy fresh crumb, mash or pellets. Food passes out of the crop into the true stomach, the proventriculus, which adds digestive enzymes. Then food moves to the mechanical stomach, the gizzard, which grinds down the food. Grit should also be provided as it helps the gizzard to break up grains and other large food particles. Hence require two forms, soluble to give additional calcium and insoluble to help break down the food. Hens will sometimes eat things that they shouldn't, including long fibrous grass, string or large pebbles, and these can combine with food in the crop to form a hard ball, which causes an impaction. If the crop is impacted, food and water cannot pass easily, and the hen is in danger of becoming dehydrated and starving. In the early stages, it's worth giving a small amount of warm vegetable oil and gently massaging the crop to loosen the impaction and to help it pass to the proventriculus. Be very careful if there's a lot of fluid present as this can be regurgitated and there's a risk your bird could inhale it and choke. If the impaction does not resolve quickly, the hen will require help from your vet and potentially need surgery to empty the crop. Hens can also develop sour crop, which is an imbalance of bacteria and fungus resulting in the buildup of a typically foul smelling fluid. You can try giving the bird apple cider vinegar in the drinking water, usually about 20 to 30 millilitres per litre. This makes the water a bit acidic and helps to restore the normal environment in the crop. Ensure your bird is drinking the water. In addition, give probiotics, especially lactobacilli bacteria, as this is the predominant type of bacteria in the crop. Birds cannot digest lactose, so dairy yogurt isn't ideal. Offer small amounts of easily digestible food, such as soaked layers pellets, and keep an eye on the faeces to check that food is still passing. Never tip your bird upside down to empty the crop. There's a real risk that she will choke. If there is no improvements, you should seek veterinary help. Potentially, hens with crop issues can go on to develop a pendulous crop, which is caused by the crop wall losing muscle tone and becoming overstretched. As it overhangs the crop, it can have problems emptying. Hens can manage well with a pendulous crop. Probiotics are beneficial, and in extreme cases, a crop bra can be helpful. This changes the drainage angle of the crop to help the contents to pass. Crop issues can be a sign of other problems, such as reproductive disease or gut parasites. In persistent cases, or if the bird is unwell and losing weight, it's definitely worth taking the bird to a vet to rule out other causes.